Today in this video we are going to see how to connect a fire alarm relay to a camera and then pop up that camera in the VMS. Now that fire alarm relay can also be connected to an NVR. Behind the NVR you can see a green color terminal block to connect the relay. Either you can connect to the NVR and still cause a camera to pop up in the VMS. Now we are going to see how to uh, activate the relay how to um, create a event action configuration all right now in order to begin uh, go to the ssm configuration menu once you go to the configuration menu if your relay contact is connected with the camera then you should click on the settings called alarm input alarm output select it and then enable the sensor. Sensor is your input, relay is your output. Okay, done. Close. Once you finish this, you can click now on event action, then create a new event, the first button, event action four, click on add event, here I would select the camera with where I just uh, enabled to receive the sensor device. So click on the sensor device. If it turns on, this is my event, if condition. If the sensor turns on, it can be connected to the fire alarm. Once it turns on, you can cause uh, probably a camera to pop up. It could be the same camera. You can say instant pop up. All right, done click apply and that's it so now if this particular relay contact is triggered you would receive a pop-up of the camera in that location all right now some of you might want to pop up an entire layout uh, if you want to do that okay in that case uh, let's say uh, you can create another event let's say this uh, sensor is activated let me delete this all right if this particular alarm input has been triggered if it is on, then you can ask the SSM to display a specific saved layout. It, a layout can have a group of cameras. You can also do that. You can also pop up that particular camera if you want. You don't have to click uh, action. You can directly do it from here. Now let's go ahead and check about NVR. Similarly for the NVR, there is alarm input and output. You can enable if you have uh, if you want you can enable all the uh, inputs so these are the camera inputs and uh, relay contacts e pause inputs and so on okay let's go ahead close now done close event action create new event okay Right. so you can see at the bottom these uh, you can go for uh, there are four alarm inputs you can select any one which you're using for fire alarm if that particular condition is turned on again you can pop up a layout or uh, you can pop up a specific camera right it's up to you you can choose what action you want so here we were focusing on the alarm input right for prn if you open the data sheet you will find the prn as four input and outputs so in case you want to trigger an output you can do it through the ssm or you can do it from the nvr web page um, so on the action item you can also select the 
NB or relay as an action item if required. All right. So you can have input from NBR1, the output can be from NBR2. All right. Thank you so much for watching the video.